Hello, what's up guys? I'm on from Peso Smart Page here and welcome sa new episode. Shoutout din sa mga podcast listeners natin. So today, quick recap lang tayo sa performance ng market yesterday. It was a really good day for the stock market. Kung makikita nyo naman, yung winners natin. So up is like 127 uh, na stocks or like companies. So it was up by 1%. 0.56% so plus uh, 91.33 yung uh, PSEI yesterday uh, tapos uh, down was 63 uh, so yun may mga natalo pa rin na like katulad yan no, 12, 10, 10% yeah sobrang lalaki yan but uh, it still was on a positive note like kita nyo to grabe yung pag ano grabe yung change Diba kung isipin nyo, uh, parang naka-end ka niya maging trader, diba? But like, uh, you really have to uh, time it like perfectly to get like this kind of like gains. So if that's uh, your cup of tea, then uh, go for it. But yeah, just be very careful about it when you do it. So, uh, tingnan natin portfolio and then yung stock position. So, kung monetary value yung pagtitingnan natin, nasa 4.8k yung nag-gain ko yesterday. Just a single day, diba? Tapos, yeah, yung biggest winner is JFC. Kasi, uh, yan, nakabili ako ng 108 pesos lang per share, 0.70 per share. Uh, sa JFC, I think last Friday, yeah, that was last Friday. So, 100 shares yung nabili ko noon. So that was a really good deal. Actually, ano yung pinlays yung order is at like 113. Pero yung na-match niya is 108. So, merong nagbenta ng sobrang baba lang. I'm not sure why they did that. But yeah, uh, that's good for me. Then yung Cebu Pacific yan, sobrang nakarecover na siya. Medyo nag-ano siya eh. Kung titignan na dito. Uh, nag-record siya ng bagong 52-week low. That was last week. Then, I think Monday siya sobrang bumagsak. I think nakabili ako, hindi 31 eh. Parang mga 34, 33 ganun. Or 35. So, not really at the bottom. But, uh, that's still a good deal. Kasi kita nyo naman sa 39 na siya ulit. But yeah, we'll see kung ano yung making performance niya. Kasi, parang yung naging trend is, like, laging Monday, ano. Basta nag-resume yung uh, stock market ulit pag nag-open siya ulit. Like, after a break. Like, katulad nito, nung weekend. Uh, nagkakaroon siya ng malaking jump pataas or like sobrang mukha mababa so yeah you just have to time it okay so balik tayo sa portfolio natin stock position yun Shangri-La okay din EI kahit na nag-cancel sila ng dividends yeah medyo okay pa rin yung trading niya tumataas naman kahit pa paano SMC2C ito naman hindi mo talaga kailangan like i-monitor yung pag-gain or pagbaba nung prices niya kasi uh, preferred share yan so hindi talaga siya like sobrang tataas or sobrang bababa dyan lang siya maglalaro kasi uh, yung issue price niya is at 75 so hindi siya bababa ng sobra dun I think yung 52 week low niya sa 74 lang and yeah hindi rin siya sobrang tataas Like, yun yung talaga average price niya. Like, 76, 77, or 78. Tapos, uh, ito, Shell. And medyo malaki na rin yung nag-gain niya. Kahit pa paano. And syempre, may loser pa rin tayo yung PIP. Kasi di ba yung tender offer sila. So, I decided not to take that. So, we're just gonna see kung ano yung mangyayari within the next few weeks or months. So, yeah. Hold lang tayo ng hold. And then, kung titignan natin yung buong portfolio, ah, uh, yan. Uh, I think last time ako nag-gawa uh, ng update video, uh, nasa 18% yung uh, yung loss natin, yung percentage ng loss. So, ngayon bumaba na siya, nasa 16.67 na lang. That's pretty good. Sana, ah, uh, ganun yung maging trend for this week. Tapos yung percentage naman, pag percentage yung pagbabasihan natin niya. Yeah. Cebu yung pinaka malaking uh, nag-jump compared to last week. Then, yeah, yung STI. GFC din, syempre. Ano ba ba? PSB yan. Continuous sila lang siya nag-gain. That's very good. And then, nga pala, 
Uh, nag-announce na ng dividends yung SMC2C and then yung iba pang other San Miguel Corporation na uh, what do you call this? Um, but wala pa dito? Other San Miguel Corporation na dividend uh, preferred shares, preferred stocks. So yan, uh, I think um, June 16 yung X date. So before that date, dapat nakabili na kayo. Wait lang, ba't wala pa dito sa records? Ang labo. Meron bang A? Wala. Uh, I think I meron. Oh, ayun. June 16. I'm not sure kung bakit wala pa yung SMC2C but uh, hindi sila mag... Hindi sila makamislike ng payout. That's impossible. Yeah, I think hindi pala nalagay dito. Weirdo. Kasi yung nalagay nila dito is dalawang March 17. Which is not Which is incorrect. So, kailangan tong i-update ng BPA trade, I think, or ng PSC. Whoever does that. Kasi nakapagbigay na nung March, ano eh, nung March. So, March 17, X-date record, March 20, tapos nabayaran nung April 3. So, hindi pwede mag-double yan. It should be, uh, June. Yep. I think minor mistake lang yan. So, pwede tayo mag-refer sa I, SMC. I. So, June 16 nga yung X date. So, before that, kung gusto nyo mabayara nung uh, dividends, tapos nakabili na kayo. And mabayara kayo next month. Papasok yun sa BPI account nyo. Dun sa tag dun. Mm, yung settlement account. Then, magre-reflect na siya like after a few days. Few, few business days. I think two or like one lang. Depende kung kailan ipapasok. Ayan. Pwede nyo, pwede nyo na i-reinvest yun after that. Then, ano pa bang pwede nating tingnan? Ayan. Kung makikita nyo, yung, yung uh, nasa stock uh, watch ko. Like list. Watch list natin. Uh, lahat sila green or like hindi gumalaw. And then, isa lang yung ano, yung bumaba. And like 0.93 lang. 0.93%. Yung binaman ng PSC. Which is not that really... Uh, a big factor but yeah all in all you know kita nyo naman green siya lahat and I think it's been a while since uh, naging ahead yung winners kaysa sa losers sa stock market sa PSE so that's a really good uh, sign and then yung value is mataas din nasa 6.38 billion pesos Then ito guys, kung hindi nyo ito tinitingnan, then uh, like uh, BPA trade yung ginagamit nyo pagbili ng stocks. Check nyo lang itong uh, traders takedown. Like everything nila itong uh, nire-release. Makita nyo naman yun like sa lower uh, left portion nung uh, UI ng BPA trade. So yan, makita nyo yung watch list, like yung ibang, iba't ibang uh, stock markets. And then ito, yung... Uh, US dollars uh, versus uh, PHP bali yung palitan currently then yan may mga stories of the day may mga news and then uh, yan may parang fin feature silang stocks every day. tapos kung ano yung mga uh, gainers na nagko-contribute na sa PSEI then yung mga companies na yan then yung mga losers syempre and then yung pinapakita dyan is like yung the previous trading day yung mga values na yan. And then, mayroong daily trading view din. Yan. Yung mga topics sila na pinapabili nila. Bali, recommendations nila. Nabili ng mga investors. So, nakakontribute din yan sa prices for sure. Lalo na yung mga sumusubaybay dito. And then, ito yung uh, ito yung palagi kong tinitingnan. Like, ito yung PSEI din. Lahat ng stock sa PSEI. And then, yan, nakalagay dito kung ano ba yung rating. Okay lang ba i-hold? Okay lang ba i-buy? Or pwedeng i-sell? Well, currently, wala tayong dapat i-sell kasi uh, masyadong underpriced yung stock. So, kung nabili mo man siya like dati, uh, siguro last year, yan, uh, it's not a good idea to sell it today at this current market kasi nga yun, medyo lugi ka. And then, yan, meron target price din and like parang mga entry price, something like that. <laughs> You know, kita nyo naman. Uh, example nung hold lang. DMC, di ba? Target price dito is 16.10 per share. Ngayon, nagtitrade na siya at 3.94. Uh, 
for that is not really a good you know sell lalo na kung for example bumili ka around 15 pesos diba tapos bibenta mo under 4 pesos lang that is not a really smart move unless you really need the money diba kaya I always uh, reiterate and I can't stress, stress this enough na like yung invest lang is like money that you don't really need within the foreseeable future and then yan yung mga sector valuation then very helpful to then corporate news kumili kayo magbasa uh, yan dyan din nagbe-base yung parang investor uh, sentiment and then ano pa ba corporate news meron din yan tapos ito yung sinasabi ko yung sinasabi ko kanina so yung San Miguel di ba ayan o so ito yung ex-dividend date and then payment date. So kasama yan. Kasama din SMC2C dito. Ayan. Hindi lang siya updated. So siya yung pinamalaking uh, ibibigay. 1.5 compared na sa ibang San Miguel na preferred shares. Diba? Kita nyo naman. Ay hindi pala. SMC2E. 1.8. Yun pala yung pinamalaki. My bad. But I think yung SMC2C pa rin yung may pinamalaking uh, like dividend yield. So percentage compared dun sa ano, dun sa current price niya. But yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna check out SMC2 Eden. Kung ano ba yung current price niya. Kasi yung laki din yung binibigay niyang dividend. So yun, uh, lahat sila is June 16 yung ex-dividend, uh, ex-date. So yeah, purchase tayo kung gusto niyo mabayaran ng dividends before this day. Ano yun, marami pang iba. Like G GT Capital Holdings, and uh, ito, Lushutan Group. RCBC, RLC, then JGS ang bibigay din sila. Nice. Kaso medyo mababa yung yield nila. And then uh, Hinebra San Miguel, and Ayala Corporation, and Petron. So yun guys, uh, correction ulit. Mali yung nandun sa daily trading. Uh, wait lang, pakita ko na rin sa inyo. Ito, yung trader's takedown. Dito yung makikita yun. So click nyo lang yan. Pupunta kayo dito, and then click itong daily report. May uh, magpa-pop up na window, then dun yun na makikita yung daily trading report which is uh, <laughs> uh, mali pala yung inho na nandun you know, 1.18 lang talaga yun nasa SMC2C compared sa 1.8 so yeah, typo lang yun tama naman itong figures na to lahat ng sumunod, nalagay lang nila is 1.8603125 which is very misleading so kaya nagtaka ako kasi sa ano ko naka-invest eh. Sa pinamalaking uh, nagbibigay ng dividend. So 1.5 yung SMC2C. So yeah. Correction lang. 1.18 lang talaga yung binibigay niya. So yan. Historically, same na 2015 pa. Yan. Yan lang binibigay nila. Every quarter yan. So times 4. For uh, 1 year. Yep. Yeah, I think that would be all lang sa update na to. And yeah, I hope you guys are safe. Don't forget to leave a like na rin and mag-subscribe kayo kung natrapan yung content ko. That will certainly help uh, me reach uh, more people. And then, yeah, Tuesday and Thursday tayo nag-upload ng new episode. So, always uh, watch out for that. And then, wala tayong quote of the day uh, sa ngayon. But yeah, stay safe again guys. Uh, GCQ na tayo. So, just uh, watch out for yourselves and yeah, for others to then. Alright, that's gonna be it. Always remember, be pesos smart. See ya.